Hey everyone, Kako here and I hope you're doing well. And in today's video, I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts on the new Nikkor Z180 to 600 f 5.6-6.3 BR lens. So let's get to it. Now I've had this lens for about two weeks now and I've tried it on, on several occasions out in uh, more urban environments. So I thought I'd share with you some of my thoughts on it and also some sample pictures that I got from my outings. You can also view these pictures on my blog at www.smacko.com and you can search for the 180 to 600 millimeter search keywords. Now to get through with this lens, I, as you can see, it's actually attached to my Nikon Z9 and it's a fairly large lens. It weighs quite a bit at 20, uh, 100 grams, just above that. And uh, the lens foot collar is actually about 185 grams on its own. And speaking of lens foot collars, that's one of the things that I do not like about this lens. And it is the uh, new type of lens hood collar that Nikon decided to add to this. Uh, it's not the foot that uh, detaches, but the actual collar itself. And to remove the collar, you do need to twist this dial right here quite a bit. And you have to actually twist it for a very long time before you can detach the entire collar like this. So that's the collar. I do have an Arca Swiss plate on it right now. So the foot actually looks larger than it really is. As you can see, the foot is the smaller end there. It's actually quite a small feet or foot. So it makes it a little bit harder to handhold if you're like me and you use the uh, foot to hold your lens and camera combo. So I did buy an external or an extra uh, Arca Swiss plate and I attached it to this foot but this plate is actually a lot wider than I anticipated so it's actually not very comfortable to hold either um, it's a small rig plate I believe so I may have to look for another third-party solution perhaps when uh, somebody introduces the entire ring collar on its own as well so this Z180 to 600 millimeter lens has a throw of about 70 degrees and that means uh, with a simple twist of 70 degrees from 180 you can go all the way to 600. Now the advantage of that I find is for if you're doing tracking wildlife or birds in flight you can find their spot at 180 degrees which is a lot easier to find on them in the sky than if you were at 600. Uh, once you find the bird at 180 focal length then you can focus track uh, using 3D focus or whatever focus mode you're in and gradually twist that barrel so you're at 600 millimeters and now you can take your shot 600 millimeters at pinpoint sharpness. I did that for a few times during my outings and uh, it turned out really well and I'm really appreciative of that 70 degree throw. So just a note on the lens foot of the camera. If you're like me and you like to hold your lens and camera combination with the lens foot on, uh, I usually have my palm of my hand on resting on the lens foot itself just like this. So I do like to have the lens foot on. But now that I have my palm on the lens foot and not on the barrel itself, uh, my grip is extended away from the barrel and that means when I twist from 180 to 600 I do have to reposition my hand ever so slightly uh, in order to go from the minimum to maximum. If my hand were directly on the barrel itself I would have no problems to do it in one swing smooth motion but now that uh, my palm is on the lens foot itself I may have to do a little bit of repositioning just like that in order to go from the extreme and so keep that in mind if you do have a larger lens foot adapter like I do. So I took a few pictures with the Z180 to 600 millimeter at my local park along the lakeshore on the boardwalk here. Uh, I took a variety of shots I hope you like them so let me know in the comments what you think about my slideshow. Sunshine. Ooh.
there you have it that's my thoughts on the z180 to 600 millimeter f 5.6.3 vr lens let me know what you thought about it if you've used it or if you have it yourself i'd like to hear uh, what your thoughts are on it or if you're thinking about buying it and if you have questions please feel free to comment below and i'll try my best to answer them for you thanks so much for watching my video and i hope to see you in the next one take care